Hey there, it's Tyler from Marketing Tea, and I'm here today with Ginger of Grow Midwives, uh, and we have been creating some content uh, for Grow Midwives uh, about all of the great services that they do within the midwifery world. Uh, and we kind of thought we would take a second to sit down and just talk about some of those things because uh, it's, not, it's not often enough, I think, that industry professionals within this industry actually get to talk about some of the things that are going on in a sort of public style forum. Um, so I guess I wanted to know uh, from you, from your perspective, um, what are some of the things that you're seeing the most right now that you're wishing people would take advantage of to continue to grow their careers or their businesses within the natural birth industry? I, I think uh, what's really important is for people to identify like what is their niche in the market? Uh, what, is it, what is it they really want to highlight that they are not only passionate about uh, but have a skill set and, and unfortunately in the world of the birth community, uh, regulatory issues that impact what that passion is in terms of how they can provide the services they're interested in doing. And once, once you've identified that, then how do you capture that for the consumer audience who can understand what it is you really want to do? Right, and that's sort of exactly where we come in quite yeah. often for people is yeah. how, do we, how do we translate the world of midwifery right. towards people, a, a target market who may not even understand that this right. exists. Right. And we have to sometimes start from just absolute square one with exactly. people. <laughs> exactly. So I feel like it's interesting because in both of our roles we act as interpreters. You, you to the professional and myself to the audience, right. to, the, right. to the potential client. Right. Um, but uh, but it, it's, always, it's always such a process for us in thinking in terms of content. I mean, this video is such a good example and certainly both of our businesses try to act as a good role model of putting information out there to people for free to build right. relationships. Right. Um, I know for us we do a lot of that with video and I'm, I'm glad to see that you guys are getting into video content as well. Um, but you've also had some success using infographics and some right. other things that we don't typically tend to use. Yeah. Um, how do you go about deciding kind of what information you want to disseminate for people? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I would say our uh, webinars we've been doing for a couple years are, are very powerful media. Uh, for people to engage in live or uh, in the recording that we make sure we have on the website that's available. The infographics tend to come up based on uh, a hot topic or something that uh, seems to be biased in the, in the general reading world that I feel like needs to be grounded in fact and evidence. So, um, and, and you know, where, where's my time uh, in terms of being able to sort of do those uh, projects that don't necessarily align with working with people or businesses one-on-one. -on -one. Right, and you do put that effort in up front. I'm, I'm on the topic of effort right now so much. I've yeah. been talking about it in a lot of our yeah. <laughs> marketing team materials yeah. because I think people need to understand that when you establish a relationship with someone, the first thing you want to do is show them your effort. Like the first thing that you want to have someone uh, get an impression of is that you're going to create something for them. Right. You want to give right. them something. Right. Um, and that's where those forms of content come in. That's right. where webinars come in, where we're giving people information, or potentially an infographic, or for us a video. Yeah. Um, it, this entire industry uh, thrives on the ability to communicate information. Yeah. I would say one of, one of the things that I truly enjoy doing, and we have quite a following, uh, is daily Facebook posts. It is rare that I don't have something that is either promoting midwifery, an issue in maternity care, uh, reimbursement uh, issues in maternity care. Uh, there is such a variety of topics. There is no absence of daily media to either analyze and synthesize or just say, hey, uh, did you know that was going on and why is it important that you know? Right, and that translates to various healthcare pra practitioners who oftentimes find themselves without the time uh, to be able to do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's one of the big pieces of where we bring in our content marketing yeah. is to help someone who does not have the time to do that or, yeah. or doesn't want to learn all of the skills to do that um, to be able to engage consistently on social media platforms or anywhere else that might be useful yeah. uh, to make those conversations and to build those relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully this gives you some things to think about. Um, make sure to check out Grow Midwives because they're going to have some a lot of content coming out. Uh, and of course, if you'd like to check out Marketing Tea, we have plenty of resources available for natural health practitioners. Um, so thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tyler.